In this week's episode of Stardust Crusaders, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, Avdol returns from the dead, and he shows you the true power of Magician's Red. But first, check this out. You don't need a fancy suitor to work at a Fortune 500 company to look like the Monopoly guy. You just need a shitty hat and a monocle to make that happen. But if you want to look like a boss, then check out the Executive Razor from Dollar Shave Club. It has six high quality stainless steel blades and a moisturizing strip. And you can check it out at dollarshaveclub.com backslash SKG. Shave time, shave money, and look like a sexy mother doing it. My theory was right! Avdo lives! He survived his incredible encounter with Jay Guile and Whole Horse. You remember when that bullet hit him? Guess what? It really didn't hit him at all, and that's because there was no bullet hole. It actually just grazed right across his forehead, and it left a little bit of damage and knocked him out. But this gave Joseph and Jojo an opportunity to sort of heal him, let him stay in India while they went off and did their own adventure. What's really important about this episode, and it's especially important at the end of the episode, is you learn that Polnareff is the only one who has been left out of the loop about Abdul not dying. And this scene is sort of funny and sort of messed up at the same time because obviously Polnareff is a very passionate person and he was really upset over the death of Abdul. However, if he would have learned about this whole secret plan about him being alive, there's a pretty good chance that he would have blabbed about it and this would have given Dio an opportunity to send another one of his goons to try and kill the already healing Abdul. In fact, when he returns in this week's episode, he's still a little bit in Strugglesville. I mean, he has a huge gaping wound in his back, but that's not going to destroy his confidence this week. In fact, it seems like getting shot in the face sort of gave him a little more confidence. In fact, he delivers one of the greatest one-liners in this week's episode, where he counters against the genie by saying, HELL TO YOU! It's such an incredibly badass action one-liner that even Arnold Schwarzenegger would blush, and it goes perfectly with the whole 80s theme of this show. The thing that I also liked about this week's episode is that Polnareff finally got over his shit. He was finally able to fight against his sister, and he's actually the one who defeats her this week. And I thought it was probably one of the cooler, more artistic scenes, especially because she's completely cut in half, her torso is just standing by holding on to Polnareff's body, and he uses just half of Silver Chariot to stab through her. And I don't know what it was, but that scene just looked really nice and very artistic. But it's Abdul returning this week. That's what really matters. So, we already learned that he just grazed the bullet, and he was healed and everything. But apparently he was actually disguised as his father when they were on the island. And I'm not sure why he didn't just like outright start talking to them or like even try to talk to Polnareff. Maybe it's because Polnareff didn't really know what he wanted to say to Avdol yet because he was still feeling responsible for his death. But it doesn't matter because we get some cool action this week where we get to see this weird genie defeated. And not only that, but we finally get to see where his stand user is hiding. And... Very similar to that one car stand user, uh, he gets defeated in a very funny manner. And I'm not even sure if he's dead, but after being attacked by Magician's Red, I I'd imagine he's probably not going to be having a nice time. But what's really funny is, the thing about this stand user is he's hiding, and he's actually hiding underground. He's using this little bamboo shoot to try and breathe. If you enjoyed the episode where Kakyoin fed that baby his own shit, then you're gonna love this episode, because Polnareff gives this guy the golden shower of his dreams by pissing right down into that bamboo shoot, and that guy immediately starts to come up out of the ground and realizes that he is screwed. That's when Avdol decides to finally finish him off with one blast of his fire techniques. And when he is defeated, he doesn't look like he's in any pain. He just looks like he looks kind of like Mr. Popo, to be perfectly honest. And he's just completely destroyed. Otherwise, that's the end of this week's episode, which I really, really loved. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Stardust Crusaders? It was awesome. Abdul has returned. The full team is back. And they're getting ready to go to Egypt and kick some Dio ass. Not only that, but it looks like we're going to have another brand new form of transportation in the series. Planes, trains, automobiles, fuck it. We're going for subs this week. At the end of this week's episode, Joseph reveals that he has a massive sub. And you know what? I don't think that's going to work so well. They've already dealt with a lot of underwater uh, stand users. It's reason to believe there probably could be more. 
Although, he did go on to say that this was a very inconspicuous purchase, and that hopefully Dio and his goons won't be able to figure out that they're actually in the sub. I'm not really sure what to take from this. What I do know is that we're getting very close to the end of the first part of Stardust Crusaders, because they are going to divide up the seasons, and I'm really glad that by the end of this one, we got to see the return of Abdul, especially because they haven't changed the intro of the series whatsoever, and he's featured so heavily in it that you wouldn't imagine that he would be killed. But he's back, and I am just so glad to see him in action. Some technical stuff this week that's very simple, like the animation and the artwork. All of that stuff looks really good, especially the artwork, especially with Abdul returning with his brand new peppy personality. I mean, he always had a little bit of a sense of humor before, but you could tell in this week's episode, he was having a lot of fun, especially when he was suggesting that Polnareff take a piss in the guy's mouth. Can't believe I said that this week. But what I will say is that I also liked the music. I also liked the tension. I loved a little bit of the humor at the end, especially the way everybody just nonchalantly re reacts when Abdul just walks up and Polnareff's like, Hey, this guy's alive right here. Can you believe that? And they're just like, oh, cool. Let's grab our bags and get onto the big massive sub. And Polnareff is just so angry about all of this. But like they said, it makes sense he probably would have blabbed out everything. And again, this is just another episode that makes me realize that Polnareff is just as good as Jojo when it comes to like being the main character. He is so incredibly interesting and has had some of the best episodes of the entire series and some of the best development. And it was really nice that it was both Polnareff and Abdul who got to team up this week because in a way they finally got to squash their bullshit and get over everything. Otherwise, I loved this episode so much. There were so many other little moments I didn't even get to talk about. If I only had one complaint this week, it's that I think they were a little heavy on the censorship, mostly in the first half of the episode when Polnareff was being attacked by his sister and by the zombified Abdul, and that's just because there were some scenes where they would just completely black it out, and you really couldn't tell what was going on. What you could see is that Polnareff was literally being eaten alive, and that in and of itself is pretty creepy, but when you can't really see what's going on, it's just not that much. Although sometimes less is more, but this is a situation where they're clearly censoring it, and you know that when they come out on Blu-ray on DVD, they're going to be completely uncensored. But otherwise, this was a fantastic episode that is getting me pumped up for the uh, season finale, and it's getting me even more excited for some of the future of the Stardust Crusaders episodes, because this series is pretty freaking metal. So I'm gonna give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. Check it out guys, Abdul is back. Thank you guys for watching my review today. Before you leave, make sure to hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. And please tell me what you guys thought about this week's episode of Stardust Crusaders. What did you think of the return of Abdul? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Stardust Crusaders anime series? And make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put links for those in the description box below. Do you like Amazon.com? I know I do. Corey and I now have an Amazon link in our video description box below. And if you go to it and buy anything through Amazon.com, it will support our channel. So bookmark that link, make it happen, and support our channel without having to do a damn thing. Another great way you guys can help support our channel is by donating directly through our PayPal link in the description box below. We recommend $2 a month, although this is completely optional. But the best way to go about this is by sneaking into your mom's room and taking $2. This way, she won't even notice. And we won't have to shake you up for all of your lunch money. So guys, that concludes this review today. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.